Hi, this is Amy Blaine. Welcome to the ExplorePeoria.com Entertainment Report, brought to you by Avantis. I'm thrilled to be the director of this American classic, The Glass Menagerie, which will be at Cornstalk's Winter Playhouse, opening the winter season. What intrigued me about this particular production, this particular script, is the timelessness of the story, of the theme, of the family. These are characters that people can relate to and understand. The play is set in the 1930s, but the concepts are the same and hold as true today as they did when they were written in 1943. I'm a strong believer in understanding where you're going by looking back at where you've been. I'm, I am playing the character of uh, Tom Wingfield in The Glass Menagerie. Uh, Tom Wingfield is the narrator of this memory play, but he's also, as he says, he's also a character in it. So kind of the interesting part of this character is that I am playing two versions of the character. Tom the narrator is, you know, several years later, he, where everything has already been happening, he's, he's a different person. Then um, after he will talk a little bit about what's been going on, uh, he will se step onto the stage and become several years, several years younger, where everything is happening right now in, in the present. I think we need to look back at some of the classics and have audiences experience them live, not just in textbooks or in classrooms or on television, to have the full experience of seeing a production live and seeing an American classic live on stage. I'm so pleased to be able to be playing Amanda in the traditional American classic, uh, The Glass Menagerie. So excited because this is a exploration in all kinds of love. It's a love story about love in the, in the past, love that may be in the future, long lost love, and maybe some newfound love. So it's a combination of all of these things, and I think that this would be something that the, uh, the people who come to see it, our audience, would be so engrossed in all of these different aspects of love that occur in this play. The Glass Menagerie is about a family um, struggling, um, living in poverty, as many people were during, uh, during that time and uh, they have the added struggle that um, they live with a father who abandoned them. And so this young man uh, who is caught in a situation he doesn't want to be in, he just wants to write and create. He's a poet, but he has to, but because of the times, he's stuck working in a warehouse that um, is, it's boring. He doesn't want to be there. It pays him so little. And so he finds himself um, Tr trying to escape through going to the movies or uh, escaping in, in alcohol. All three of the, of the members of this family um, have their own ways that they I escape the reality of their situation. While Tom is alcohol in the movies, the, their mother, her, she escapes into her past, which for her was a, a happier time. Just as um, Tom's older sister, Laura, escapes into her collection of glass animals, her glass menagerie. For me, to play someone who is so maybe out of touch with, with the world, but yet so in touch with what could be, to be able to find those little pieces of love, the little pieces of reality that, that Amanda's looking for. This production is presented in the round at Cornstalk's Winter Playhouse. It provides a unique experience, not only for the actors, but also for the audience. There are no bad seats. You can um, see everything. It's a very nice, intimate space. So you're right there with the actors, seeing and feeling everything on stage. And it's a fabulous space. In theater, when you laugh, when you have, an, when you have a response and emotion, the actors on stage feel that. We see that, and we, we, we feed on it. It was something that really surprised me when I started reading the script and researching the script about how much of what we consider modern family of a single mom, 
two grown kids who were still at home and trying to make their way in their world and all of the struggles that they have. And this was written in 1943 and set in the 30s. And it's something that still rings true today. Come out to see this wonderful show. I know you'll enjoy it. And you'll find so many different aspects of life in it that you'll be just so glad that you had a chance to see this. A bun presents so many choices, we can only name a few. Spaghetti, ravioli, tortellini, chicken, parmesan, fettuccine, and lasagna, tasty pizza, and the list goes on. A bun presents so many choices, it's great Italian food. Find Peoria area events and entertainment when you subscribe to the ExplorePeoria.com electronic newsletter. It's free. Sign up today at ExplorePeoria.com. Anything you need to know and the only site you need to go, Explore Peoria.